viewers thank you so much for another day and joining me on this episode so this is a requested video to be able to demonstrate how we we use the agam metric especially for those who are experiencing gdm slash diabetes in pregnancy so this pack you see here is what they give to you in the hospital and we are going to demonstrate how to use it to check your sugar level so let's look into what is in the pack quickly so we have our shooter here okay we have our stripes um this is how the stripes look like yep and then we have this liquid here to clean this apparatus occasionally we have our one of the important elements as our thermometer reading thermometer i'll leave it there you have an extra battery in there to be able to change the battery when it dies or it doesn't work anymore yep so that is it for all that you need to start your experiment and before you start your experiment i recommend that you wash your hand yes as you see on the screen washing your hand helps kill the bacteria in your hands and then also stimulate the senses and then the blood groups in your palm to be in the right temperature for this test to begin so now we are beginning um this is how you're going to start so we start taking our shooter we need to prepare the shooter we need to prepare it so you take you can start by taking off the tip okay so you take off the tip you need one of the tail lenses so this is how it's going to come out <laughs> this is how the tail lens looks like it has a closed edge and it has an open edge people tend to just put it in like that push it in to hear the click and then you pull the top off okay if you can't do it this way because when i started it was hard doing it that way if you can't do it this way the easiest way is to just take this off before you put this thing in but make sure when you put it in you hear a click before you stop don't throw this away you need this to cover it to dispose it so we leave this one here okay now you get the tip back to close it so we're going to close it yep nicely and before you close it there's this adjustment here i always leave it at five the last one but that's the most effective one to me based on my experience then this blue thing here you're going to pull it out and leave it slowly okay now our shooter is ready to be used so we put it here whilst we prepare the other thing so the next thing we have to prepare is our reading thermometer so with a reading thermometer, we need the stripes to do it. So let's get one of our stripes. I know sometimes it's a bit devastating when they tell you you have diabetes, but hey, it's well. It's not a big deal. I had it twice in all my pregnancies, but after I finished, after pregnancy was over, I was good to go just because of the help of this agametric. It helps you to know the food to consume and what not to consume so let's go on so with the stripe you have the white side and then you have the black side we'll be focusing on the black side so on the black side we have the straight edge and then we have the pointed edge so the straight edge is what is going to go into the thermometer so this is how you're going to do it so this is the thermometer sorry and that's the hole so you're going to put it in like that push it in until you hear a click and the screen will come on all right so looking at that it clearly shows that it's ready to take the readings okay the third thing that you would prepare is your app on your phone okay which connects to the thermometer for your reading to okay but hey i will show you some of the readings and we're going to discuss it after the experiment so don't worry all right so now that all the parts are ready we're going to start with our test so you choose the finger that you prefer place it nicely onto the tip of the shooter and then this you see that yellow cycle here you're just going to press that yellow cycle onto the finger oof that's a pierce you're sensitive you should skip this two seconds of this video all right so now i'm scooping a bit of the blood out We'll see the blood out now okay so since the blood is out the job for this is done leave it here we now go for our 
reading thermometer so this is how you're going to get the blood onto it so you can see that the tip there goes straight to the blood and once it absorbs it it's going to have a click okay so we could hear that click so meaning it is ready then it starts reading you leave it for it to start reading i have my tissue here to just clean the rest of the blood off great yep so now the reading is ready if you look on the screen i don't know if you can see it properly yep we have 6.1 which is normal and based on it um the app on the phone is showing green for it all right so looking on the screen you will see some readings that have already taken place i'm going to just explain the colors because the numbers that appears on it differ from one person to another okay Be depending on the level of gdm that you are on all right so looking on the screen as i said the green reading shows that it's very good your sugar level is very good and you are being encouraged to eat those food that you took in before taking the test if you have red it means the food is not good for you at this period of time because it helps your sugar level goes too high therefore you should avoid it or you should control the intake of it is that okay i believe it's that's clearly explained as we all know you normally recommended to take um this test um before meals for the first day and then the next day you do it after meals and you're normally recommended to take it three times preferably it can be morning afternoon and evening before meals morning afternoon and evening after meals okay so doing that and then looking at this result i've explained to you will help you know that if it is green the food you took was good and they recommend that you take more of that frequently if it is red it means you have to stop eating that food or reduce the intake of it gradually you will get to understand your own pattern using the app and you'll be able to know the food that you should take in more often think every two weeks to the midwife or the doctor calls you to give you feedback on your results so far so using this effectively can help you control your diet help you reduce or control your gdm for you to have a bouncing healthy baby and also make sure you avoid diabetes after your pregnancy is over it is very 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 essential because it helped me get rid of diabetes after pregnancy and also i had a very strong baby share with others for them to know how to use it if they don't even have it or giving to them by the hospital they can actually purchase some from boots to be able to help to prevent or prevent them from getting uh, gdms before time all right Thank you for joining me today. Until my next video, I will see you soon. Bye.